The 4th of July and spanning at least four days, Portland's first heat wave of the summer. Any individual that has any sort of like threshold or difficulties with heat, they've got to be aware that it's coming. If possible, staying indoors in air conditioned spaces is best, especially during the hottest parts of the day. Rick Graves with Portland Fire and Rescue stresses the importance of planning ahead. Do so by making sure that you're hydrated. Um, if you're planning on activities, try to plan those in the morning rather than in the afternoon and early evening when we're going to have peak heat. Get yourself taken care of and ready to just relax and rest during the, the extreme uh, hot times during the day. Over the last couple of years, the city's installed more than 9,000 AC units through the Cooling Portland program a game changer for vulnerable populations. As I mature in age, I'm not able to handle the heat as well as I did when I was younger. But don't rely on this program if you're seeking out an AC for this heat wave. Applicants may be scheduled for installation later this summer or even early fall. This isn't an emergency response program. This is a climate resilience program and then if there's an extreme heat event, the city, the county, and other partners have other approaches to deal with emergency response. Multnomah County has yet to open cooling centers, but officials are preparing to do so if needed. They'll make a final call the morning before they open. Of course, I've been paying attention to the weather forecast and want to do everything we can within our control. Meantime, organizers of outdoor events like the Waterfront Blues Festival downtown are thinking ahead. We'll have free water refill stations at the festival. We have misting stations back for popular demand. We are working with the Marriott across the street and they're opening up their second floor to be a chill center for our fans. Those fans can also bring in personal sized umbrellas and empty or factory sealed water bottles. Plan accordingly such that you're hydrating well prior to going and maybe make sure you're hydrating while you're out in public, whether it be the Blues Fest, out on your hike or whatever.